Hey guys, Sid from Sid's Trains here, and welcome back to Workbench Wednesday. Let's see what I got on the workbench. So today on the workbench, I have an MTH Rail King GG1 that is getting a TMCC upgrade with LED lighting and rail sounds. So I got this engine on the workbench, and I've done a GG1 before, and I've installed TMCC in one. I've actually worked on tons of uh, semi-scale GG1s, but I've only installed TMCC in one of them. And it's kind of surprising how hard it can be, mainly due to the space that is available on the inside of them. Because lots of them have two motors, and that kind of limits the space that you have to mount larger electronics. Especially TMCC electronics, which have longer footprints Usually, obviously, you can get smaller ones, but sometimes uh, it can be hard with the longer ones. So first off, I'm going to take off the shell so that I can show you all the new electronics that I've installed in this engine, which are mainly electric railroad products. With the shell off, you can see the main TMCC board in the center. Uh, on each end of the uh, frame, you can see that little green board. Those are for the LED uh, headlights or backup lights, just depending on which end of the engine, because the GG1 doesn't really have like a front and back. It kind of looks the same on each end. And then you can kind of see the speaker on the left inside the shell, and then the rail sounds board is hidden up in the shell, and you'll be seeing that in just a minute. With a more bird's eye view, you can see uh, all the electronics that I've installed in this engine. In the center is the Electric Railroad Cruise Commander that is mounted sideways on the frame. I had to do that so the wires uh, could fit coming off the board and then going to wherever they needed to. If I were to have mounted it flat on its, on its uh, well, from this angle on its side, uh, it would have uh, messed with the wiring. It would have been hard to achieve that. You can also see the rail sounds commander that I've mounted up in the shell. There's the speaker again on the left and there's wires running up to the headlights on the engine. And then again you can see those small little LED uh, lighting boards that I use to achieve the LED lighting on TMCC engines. Here's a closer look at one of those uh, lighting boards. I have to use these because if I don't use these in line with the LEDs, they will not turn on when hooked up to the TMCC electronics. The TMCC electronics need a load to trigger the headlight circuit, and this little board has a capacitor, some diodes, and a resistor on it that allow the LED uh, headlight or backup light or whatever I'm using it for to turn on with the TMCC electronics. And here's a better look at the uh, Rail Sounds Commander. This, of course, is an electric engine uh, Rail Sounds Commander, so it fits with the GG1 and the sounds. And I mounted it up in the shell because there wasn't a lot of space on the frame. And you see all the wires running along the side of the shell, and I did that because that was the best way to run the wires. On the right side of the shell here, you can see this blue wire running to this terminal that is on the shell. This terminal goes through the shell through a little plastic insulator up to the pantograph. On this engine, the pantograph is insulated from the rest of the shell and the frame, so I decided to use that as the TMCC antenna because it's insulated and isn't going to ground out to anything and cause signal issues. So the pantograph is the antenna, which is really cool. Uh, you don't see that very often. And it works really well, and the pantograph still, of course, goes up and down. These are not uh, motorized, but it still goes up and down, even with that being connected. And then you can also see the wires running to the headlight. Here's the other end. You see the other LED, headlight, backup light, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and you also can see the speaker. Uh, the shell had this kind of weird notch-like part on this end of the shell. Uh, the casting was just kind of different from G other GG1s I have seen before. And I was able to uh, slip the speaker down into that notch and attach it there. And it works really well. Uh, there's no weird vibrations when it's up there. And it sounds really good when you put the shell back onto the frame and have the shell all sealed up. 
So that's about all I have to show you on the electronics uh, of this upgrade. Uh, it came out really well, and in this picture you can see the LED lighting is on. And uh, overall, it was just a lot of fun to do. Uh, fairly basic, uh, but I did have to get a little creative with the way I with the way I mounted the boards in the engine, the way I did the headlights, uh, the speaker, and of course the antenna with the pantograph. I think that's uh, kind of neat and not something you see all the time. Uh, so now I'm going to put the engine on the layout and run it around sh so I can show you the smooth operation and the sounds on the engine. Here's the horn. Here's the bell. Here's the uh, the revving. I uh, hear some of the crew talk. So as you can see, this is an amazing engine. Uh, the upgrade went really well. Uh, the lighting looks really good. The sounds are amazing. And it's a really smooth runner with that Electric Railroad Cruise Commander. And it's also kind of neat that the pantograph is the antenna. Uh, so overall, just a uh, really good upgrade. And uh, this upgrade is complete now. Uh, the customer is happy with it. And now I'm going to be sending it back to uh, them so they can enjoy it. That wraps up this video. As always, like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications, comment below, and tell others about the channel. I'm Sid, and I'll see you next time, guys.